Hey everybody, it's Steve, and I want to show you my new Shed's moving head that they call the 19 by 20 watt Big Bee's Eyes. You can see it's big, and here's the Bee's Eyes. Every mover I have that makes patterns makes so by projecting a beam of light through gobos or prisms to make moving effects. But this thing doesn't have any gobos or prisms, just these big bee's eyes. I love saying that. And honestly, I don't really understand how, but this thing makes the most insane patterns that fill up an entire room with moving colors. So in this video, I want to first unbox one, then look at its features and functions, and then start playing around with each of the DMX channels to see how to access some of these crazy effects. And finally, show you how cool those patterns look, especially with the hazer going. First off, Sheds is branding this light as JMS Webb, and I had to Google to find out that the James Webb Space Telescope was named after James Webb, who oversaw the Apollo program that sent astronauts to the moon. I will say, I have several Sheds lights, and this one definitely has a more premium feel with a better build quality. You can see it's big at about 19 inches tall and weighs in at just under 29 pounds. But the base at 13 and a half inches wide, including the handles, and only 10 inches deep, is small enough to fit on a totem. The key to its crazy effects are these 19 20 watt RGBW LEDs, which Shed says will last 50,000 hours. And they sit behind these hexagonal glass lenses, and the optics rotate and move in and out, which you'll see in a minute. And that affects the distance from the lens to the LED, which can change the beam angles from 4 to 45 degrees. On the back of the head, there's two temperature controlled fans, and the base has these status indicator lights, LED display, and menu control buttons. And the back has power con in and out jacks, an on off switch, and DMX in and out. And the bottom accepts these two quick lock connectors that make it easy to take on and off a trusser mount. The menu controls are all pretty standard on this light. Let's first look at the different settings. Here's where you set the DMX starting address. There's also a function for changing the encoder and the pan and tilt reverse. In the run mode, you can change it from DMX mode to a sound active mode and two different auto modes. It takes it a while for it to kick in with the motion. And also while it's thinking a little here, I'll tell you on the sound active mode, there's no mic sensitivity, so it's uh, difficult to have a lot of control over that sound active mode. Let's put it back in DMX mode. In this setting, you can change the number of DMX channels, and there's a 23 channel mode, a 25 channel mode, and yes, you're seeing this correctly, 101 channel mode. But let's keep it in 23 channel mode. And when you go into the manual controls, you can individually control each one of the parameters. Same as you can under DMX. You can also go into the display. You can change the language from English to Chinese. You can invert the display. You can t turn the backlight on and off, and you can see the version number. And then finally, there's a page with uh, factory reset functions. Let's go through the DMX channels, and I've got this thing in 23 channel mode. For this to make sense, I have to go through the channels out of order. So first, let's bring up the dimmer a little bit, and then you can see that on channel 10, you can control the red, 11 the green, 
12 the blue, and 13 the white. And you can color mix these in any combination. You will leave blue up. And you can also see that there is a strobing function with different types of strobing, slow to fast. Uh, but we'll leave the blue up. Now let's come back and look at the focus. And now it's more of a beam, about a four degree beam with all the different BIs focused together or more of a wash at about 45 degree. And because this is a moving head, you can adjust the pan, fine pan, the tilt, the fine tilt, and the pan and tilt speed. So now that we have the blue up as a primary color, let's go to the static effects. So when we bring this up, you can see this brings in different combinations of illuminated LEDs. You can see better what the effect of that is when we bring the focus back to a beam. These are different combinations of LEDs and the ones that are not illuminated, you can go to the background colors and you can bring those up so you can mix the different combinations of colors. And in the higher values, they're basically just predetermined combinations. The dynamic effects work basically in the same way. You can pick a primary color. Let's change this primary color to green. And you can pick a background color. We'll pick blue as a background color. And then you can see that there's different combinations. Again, in the higher values, it's going to be set combinations. You could bring the background color up, but we're going to take it out. And the difference between dynamic effects and static effects is you can actually change the speed. So this is going to cycle the LEDs through their colors at different speeds and in different directions. But let's just now take off the dynamic effect speed. And we're going to go to the best effect, effects rotate on channel 7. And so as we increase the DMX values, you can see it's turning the optics of the lenses. So you can leave it in a static uh, position or in the higher values when the lenses rotate, they make the individual blotches of light pulsate in and out. And now when we go back to this dynamic effects, we don't even have the speed going on this. Let's turn the speed on this. And you can see it can really start coming up with amazing combinations of colors that are all moving in interesting directions. And much less interesting is a reset function on 23, and you can also change the color temperature on channel 14. This light is big, and you can see it does a lot. And as of April 2023, you can get one for $479 at the link below with free shipping. Appreciate you watching, and please subscribe. It helps out the channel.